So before starting, I would just like to thank Asad Kazmi for his comment. I tried answering it with the short version. But now it's time to look at the long version of how to do proper FFT simulations using LD Spice. So for start, you will notice a problem. If we put a simple voltage source, make it a sine wave, let's say a 1 volt, not 11, 1, 1 volt, 1 kilohertz sine wave. If we stimulate this thing for, let's say, 10 milliseconds, we have our nice sine wave, and if we look at it from an FFT point of view, so we open the FFT window on our reference voltage, we will see that it's not very clean. We have all this noise around here, which normally should not be there since it's a pure sine wave. So we should only have our one kilohertz spike. Now, how to fix this? Well, first of all, we need to set up the simulation to perform FFT simulations. First thing, we need to set some options. Our first problem we have is the number of digits with which the simulation is working. Currently, it's set to 6, but if we want to use much more precise values, we can set it to a number above 6, let's say 7. That will give us double precision. So let's just add this option. Second thing we have is data compression. One version of fixing this is to set the plot window size from the default 300 to 0 to disable compression. This is the preferred way of doing this. This is ideal since whenever you open this simulation, your compression will be disabled. The other way of doing it would be by going into the control panel and disabling compression. The problem with this is that whenever you close the simulator and then reopen it, this resets to, to default. So now we have our double data precision and we have no compression. Let's see what changed. So we get the same sine wave. And if we look at our FFT results, it start to be a bit more clear, but we still have a lot of extra spikes, which should not be there. So how to fix this? If you zoom in into your sine wave, you will see that it's made out of straight pieces of line. And this we need to fix. For this, we will go into the simulation command and set a maximum time step. This will tell the simulation how long one step is allowed to be. Again, for compression reasons, LT Spice will increase it as much as possible so that the data does not occupy so much space. So we told our simulation to go at maximum 100 nanoseconds between steps. Now, if we look at our FFT result, we see that it's much, much clearer. We're roughly at about minus 300 decibels or 240 with all of our unwanted noise, and we can see our clear one kilohertz spike. Now you will see that it's a bit wide. Why is that? Well, because of our maximum time frame, the minimum frequency is capped at 100 hertz. That means that any point on this graph is a multiple of 100 hertz. So before one kilohertz, we have at 900 hertz, and then at 1.1 kilohertz. If we want to fix this, simply increase our simulation time, make it 100 milliseconds, this will give us a minimum time step of 10 hertz. Since we have a ton of points, it takes much more time to simulate. Now let's just see our FFT result. Now we see a very clear, very sharp spike at 1 kilohertz. Again, if we zoom in enough, you will see the same tower, but now in 10 hertz steps. Okay, so if we want to see the data using numerical values, we simply need another LT spice statement. So we will need to look for the for statement. We will see it in our help menu. Basically, this will compute the Fourier component for a certain signal. We need to input the frequency at which we want to make our analysis, how many harmonics we want to analyze, how many periods, and which data trace we want to analyze. So let's try it out on our reference voltage. Simply type in 4. We are analyzing 1 kilohertz. 
let's say 10 harmonics for 100 cycles and we are analyzing our reference voltage plot. Simply add it into the simulation, re-simulate, wait. And now if you look into our error log, we see that we have a Fourier analysis on our reference voltage. We can expand this since we have quite a lot of data in here. So what is this analysis telling us? Well, it analyzed 100 periods, it analyzed reference voltage, it has a DC component of nearly zero. We have our base frequency and another nine harmonics, so two, three, up to 10 kilohertz. We have two Fourier components, the Fourier component and the normalized component. Basically, the normalized component will always have the first value at one. So if you're analyzing a signal which is 0.1 volts or 10 volts or whatever, the Fourier component will be the actual signal and then the normalized component will be normalized to one. Again, we have phase and normalized phase. The normalized phase starts with zero degrees always. And finally, we have our total harmonic distortion already calculated from our analyzed data. We have the basic harmonic distortion and then we have the harmonic distortion with noise. And we see that our pure sine wave is a pure sine wave. There is zero point many, many zeros distortion. So basically this is how you set up a proper FFT analysis using LTSpice. Finally, let's do something useful. Let's analyze an actual circuit. For this, we will take our reference voltage and create a basic transistor amplifier. So I don't want to make a proper amplifier. I just want to throw in some values just to show you how the simulation will work. Okay, let's see what happens. So we got our reference voltage as before and we're analyzing our collector voltage. So the output of our common emitter amplifier. So at first glance, it seems that our amplifier is perfect. So we see no visible distortion in our signal. But let's just make sure, let's compare our reference voltage and our output voltage. We can right click on our window when we have both of these traces visible view our FFT data. Here we have both of our traces selected. Again, we want to plot both of them. And now if we look at our FFT graph, we will see that our output voltage, the blue one, has a bit of harmonics. So it's not as perfect as it looks at first glance. Our reference voltage is still perfectly clean, but our output voltage now has a bit of harmonics. Again, we can give it a name, let's just call it output and analyze it numerically. So to see exactly how much distortion we have, we can simply add here another trace into our for analysis requirement, re-simulate, wait a bit. And if we open our two traces, so we have the output and the reference. Now we can look at our error log and we will see that our reference 0% distortion, so perfect signal, but our output has 3% of distortion, quite a lot. Again, this distortion is not visible by eye if you just look at the sine wave. So it's very hard to determine that this is not a perfect sine wave, the red one. So what can we do to improve it? Well, we can tweak a bit the values and let's see if this will help, re-simulate and finally, Let's look at our new results. And we can see a better 0.67% distortion. Still not ideal, but we're on the right track. So basically this is how you can perform your FFT analysis on a signal using LT Spice. Hope you got some useful information out of this. Please subscribe to stay tuned with all the new videos I make. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.